Hello everyone. Today is July. Today is July. Today is July 15th, so I'm seven days out from the Gymshark East Coast tour, which is part of the Bigger World tour, and I'm so psyched for it. I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. Seven days away from that, and today I wanted to start a little mini series leading up to the East Coast tour because I wanted to get a teensy little bit leaner and you guys know if you follow me on Instagram um, I've been intuitively eating for a long time now I would say over a year I my weight kind of stayed within a range I think I naturally will tend to go towards 110 pounds and if I dip below that then I get hungry and I'll eat a lot more and sometimes I'll bounce up to 115 depending on how lax I am with my diet. <laughs> I actually was a little bit lax with my diet in the last couple of months because I was traveling. I was in Toronto and I actually just moved across the country. So I moved from almost the most easterly point of Canada to almost the most western and most point of Canada. So I'm in Kelowna, BC right now. This is me introducing my mini series. I'm going to be doing a kind of prep. So I'm going to aim to get down to around 110 pounds. So I started intuitively eating and a little bit of a healthier, cleaner diet, if you wanna call it. So basically I would just cut out more of the junkier foods. Um, I'd still have like a treat a day, but I would try to eat foods that were lower calorie most of the time and that um, were more voluminous, so I would stay more full and get less cravings. So that's what I've been doing for the past week and that's what I still plan on doing. So yeah, welcome to that vlog series. I guess I'm so awkward. So I did a weigh-in this morning and I was 113 pounds. So when I started last week, I was 115. So now I'm down to 113. Um, and then my goal is to be 110 pounds before I leave. So obviously that's a lot and I wouldn't normally drop weight that quickly. Keep in mind that my happy weight is still 110 to 115. So it's not like I'm crash dieting super lean or anything um, in that time period. I'm not trying to like get from say 108 to 105. So I also did a physique update. This is how I'm looking. I think I can look a little bit better, be more consistent with my training. Usually I like to train five days a week, but I have been training about four days a week. I'm gonna try to get all of my training sessions in this week before I leave and even do a little bit of extra cardio. Uh, when I do add in cardio, I like to add in 15 to 20 minutes of stairs and I'll do that two to three times a week. I don't usually do more than that. That's enough combined with a lower calorie diet for me. I did my measurements too. My waist is at 23 inches. That's pretty normal for me. Usually if I'm heavier, I'm like maybe 24, but genetically I just have a really small waist. My mom, when she got married to my dad, her wedding dress waist was 21 inches, so she is tiny. You might not be able to obtain a waist that small. I think what would be best to focus on is just leaning out in general or um, working on building up your butt uh, will help your waist look a lot smaller and then also building your back and your lats will help give you the tapered look to make your waist look smaller. And when I'm dieted for a show, I think the smallest my waist has been is 22 inches. So really like I don't gain fat on my waist or my upper body really at all. It's all lower body. I have like randomly like more fat on my back. I like am self-conscious of my back fat. Hips are 36 I think. Over time, I've been able to cut down the fat on the side of my hips and grow my butt from the back if that makes sense. So like I've maintained pretty well the same measurement. I've just like changed the shape of my body. All right, so basically I wanted to tell you guys that. I also wanted to tell you guys some things that I bought recently. <laughs> like they're kind of accumulated over the last month. So don't judge me. I'm not that bad of a shopaholic. I may am a little bit. So I got this package in today from Aritzia. So I'm gonna open it. So I ordered some clothes for my upcoming trip. on the inside. By the way, this is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Okay, so Aritzia is one of my favorite stores. I love it. I love when people put detail into their packaging. This makes my day. Oh, that's the invoice. Oh my god. In this bag. This is Okay, so first off, I got this bra, black. I actually have this in two other colors and it's super comfy. 
so I'm really glad I got it. It's actually made of like a cotton material, which is really similar material to the Gymshark bra I'm wearing. It's like a stylish, just kind of underwear type bra. And I just like the elastic detail and then the cross straps in the back. So I also got this little top. So this one is really similar to the suede bra top that I have. Um, I took a picture on Instagram with it on on Canada Day. Oh, I love these. So these are suede skinny pants. Okay, so here they are. They kind of squished the butt a little bit. I got them in an extra small. Um, they would have had more butt room in the small, but there's a lot of waist room, so extra small will have to do. Overall, I also wanted to mention my goals for my physique. Apart from wanting to get a little bit leaner, I do want to build my glutes and my hamstrings and also my quads again now. Now I just kind of want to build my entire lower body, whereas before I actually tried to avoid um, doing exercises that hit quads. My quads got indirect work like a lot from the lunges that I did and the squats. Now I'm not going to shy away from quad accessory work. I want to continue to build my delts and I want to actually build my upper chest. I used to have like a like really good pecs because I power lifted and I was bent pressing all the time. I don't personally like when you can see like ribs in a chest. It's better to have some muscle there. My back is my strongest point. It was the first thing that grew for me. So at this point, I don't really want to do anything more for my back. My lats are big enough and I think my trap thickness, like my traps are pretty big and just my whole back is just really well developed in my opinion for me, for what I'm looking for. Um, I'll be doing rear delt exercises that will carry over to back a little bit so I'll be able to maintain what I do have while still accomplishing my goal of bringing up my rear delts. So that's my plan for my physique. Um, so you'll see me doing some presses and stuff. Probably incline presses, that's what I've been doing. So continuing on my random haul. So like I showed you guys, so I have my suede pants. I have this little bralette thing. And this is these are the new bras that came in. I know you guys have probably seen them in like a lot of people's channels, but yeah. And I have the new socks. I'm gonna like slipper ankle socks. I also bought some from spring recently, so now I'm all stocked up on those. And then there's some ankle socks too. I recently got these pair of sunglasses. They're clear Wayfair style sunglasses, so nice. I always buy cheap sunglasses because I lose them or break them. I got this hat, this cute jacket. It's from American Apparel. It's like a nude light jacket, so I'll probably take that with me. I got this long tank maxi dress from Lululemon, but it's super comfy. Really long and it has a big slit at the side. I'm really excited about these. So I finally got a pair of Adidas Superstars. How cute they are. I got them in youth sizes because my feet are super small and they're less expensive that way. So if you have small feet like me, then I suggest doing that. This is the new Gymshark bag. I got the small one. We had a choice between small or large. So I got the small one and it's like, it can be used as a carry-on or a gym bag. So I'm gonna be taking this with me when I go to New York as well. And it's got this cool matte monochromatic logo, which I really like. It's very clean looking, in my opinion. And other exciting news, I got some dish towels. Just put these over here. Here's a sneak peek of the living room. So, since I'm not gonna show you guys my workout, I thought I would show you what I'm gonna wear to the gym. I am wearing my Align pant, because they're super comfy for leg day, and my Gymshark Seamless in pink.
type for disaster. I want a full plate, then another plate after. Uh, yesterday just died. Tomorrow never cried. The days of our lives. When she get deep, I'm trying to find the good lighting light. So I just finished my workout. Um, I did legs. I actually snapped my workout. Exercises I did and what reps and sets. But if you do want to follow me on Snapchat, it's just Robin Gallant, all one word, but with two T's. I am going to, to finish off this day, I'm going to go get some groceries for the week that I'm here. So I'm not sure if I'll vlog in the grocery store, but I will show you guys what I get. Hi, I just got home from getting groceries. So just a quick small grocery run. So we got egg whites, ground turkey, which I'm gonna eat now, and sliced turkey breast. Peaches that are grown locally. I love fresh fruit. I got bananas. For veggies, I got red pepper, fine ripened tomatoes, a few mushrooms, here there. And this baby spinach and <laughs> this is baby spinach and I actually really like this salad mix. Carbs, I got some whole grain Weight Watchers bread. Weight Watchers wraps, which are 80 cows each. So here's my mini grocery haul. I forgot to get a uh, brown rice, so I'm gonna grab that tomorrow and a couple other things that I can only get at the other grocery store. So egg whites, turkey, minced turkey and turkey breast, mushrooms, uh, local peaches, bananas, tomatoes, red pepper, and lettuce greens. I did have a protein shake, my favorite type of protein. Um, it's Canadian, so it's cheaper for me. It's 110 calories per scoop, one gram fat, two carb, and 25 protein, which is good enough for me. And it's not amino spiked, it is a whey isolate and it tastes really, really good. I really like the banana flavor. It reminds me of banana medicine that I used to get when I had an ear infection when I was a kid, and it was really, really good. I remember like wanting to get sick so that I could have that medicine. Okay, I'll show you my meal when I am done cooking it. Cooking the ground turkey in a pan with nonstick cooking spray, and I'm gonna season it with some of this sodium reduced taco seasoning mix. Look how red and juicy and delicious that tomato looks. I just had to show you guys. That looks so good. All right, guys, I'm gonna eat my Chipotle bottom. It's so yummy. And then I'm going to probably do some editing and some emails and then I'm gonna head to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.